Hey, what's up, uh, YouTubers? It's new ATL 2010. I'm coming back at you. Um, I'm getting ready to do a 27 piece. Um, it is using the Milky Way 27 piece here and a number one. I got a few tracks of um, some 8 inch um, Ultra Micro Yaki that I'm going to use for this effect. I'm trying to do like a swoop, like really, just really short, kind of like um, a Halle Berry look, short look. Um, cause I haven't worn short hair like that in a while, and um, that's what I want. So, um, I have, um, you know, prepped my hair and everything. I got my stocking cap on, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay like um, the track probably until I get up to here, and then I'll come back, or I might just come back once it's up to here to lay the straight tracks. I'm not for sure, but I got a method. Um, I put it down there after the video was done. But um, it was a girl she um, had where she put three medium tracks at the bottom, you know, so it covers your nape and everything. And she just did it from all the way here because, you know, people need the medium right there for the sideburn anyway. So I'm going to do that technique and then so the medium, then the short, then the medium some more, and then the long at the top. Um, and then I think I'm going to throw in a few 8 inch tracks of number one Ultra Micro Yaki to give it more of a longer swoop. I noticed a lot of people that did the really fly 27 pieces use like feather hair or doobie or something like that. I wish I had known that, paid more attention before I went to the store because I probably would have got some doobie hair. But oh well, um, it can, I've seen people that did it without it, so I know it can still be done. So, I'll be back once I lay those tracks and I'll show you some more of my process. Oh, and also I'm going to do some lashes too. So, okay. Bye. Hey, what's up ladies? Um, it's new ATL 2010. Sorry if I look like a werewolf right now because um, I am cutting the 27 piece hair. Um, basically, this is like the three medium tracks that I mentioned earlier then short and then this is my first medium after putting the initial three down um i just edged it up you know just to get it because everyone does that first before they start putting the next layers on so hold on let's see if i can show you the back i um went with a guard on it um i'm using clippers and basically that's it. Um, not finished. I'm still trying to decide whether I'm going to use any of the ultra 8 inch hair if I'm just going to use straight 27 piece. Because as I'm looking and just feeling the the short pixiness of it, I'm actually liking it to be used without that, but I don't know yet. So when I come back, I will um, show you how I do the closure and show you what it looks like before it's completely closed. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey, what's up, uh, ladies? This is New ATL 2010. Um, I'm coming back at you. I just wanted to show you um, what I've done. I went ahead and added, like, the long pieces up here at the top. See how they're already feathered, but I'm still going to cut that down. And I added about four tracks of um, the 8-inch hair. Uh, first, I added a couple of the long pieces, two tracks of the long pieces. Then, um, like four tracks of the Ultra Premium Yaki 8 inch. Now if you look here, uh, hopefully you can see that. Can you see that? That little tiny circle is about a dime size. That is what I'm left with. And I'm getting ready to make my closure. Oh well, I already have, hold on. Um, look here. Um, I rolled the hair, and now I'm about to flat iron it open, and you know, press it. And I will come back to you while I'm cutting to give you an idea of how to cut this style. Okay, I'll be back. Bye bye. Okay, ladies, I am back. Um, I have made the closure right there. And I want you to get a look at it. I'll throw you on this side. I'm getting ready to cut. And I'll be back.
once I cut it and I'll try to curl it in front of you because I'm holding it all myself so the camera my husband's not home so anywho I will be back hey what's up um youtubers ladies um I have cut the hair I probably still will end up cutting it a little bit um later but for now it's done let you see this side I got the clippers and uh, my husband's clippers so I'm not really too familiar with using them uh, I use them um, also this but um let me let you see it uh, and I just tapered it and I went on this side let me bring it back let me let you see it from this way I kind of, I guess I was going for like the Rihanna look like when she used to have the long, like this. And it's like, um, you can, it has a, uh, layers up here, so you could get a little funky with it. But for me, I'm kind of keeping it for now just a little bit smooth. And um, I'm going to try to let you see the back. Hopefully, it turned out to where you can see it. Um, once again, let me let you see the front. I I did make an invisible part on this one, even though I could have, but I just saw everybody else's, all the ladies, and I'm like, I don't need to do that, like, to do all the extra time when I can get the same effect and not even have a part in it. Plus, I can wear it longer. Or what I'm going to redo it. So, this is, once again, Milky Way 27 piece in a number one. And then the hair used here is Ultra uh, Micro Yaki. And, um... Let you let it see it again. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back again to you because I think I'm gonna style it just a little bit more. I'll come back and let you see that, and I have uh, my lashes on, and I'll tell you about those. All right, I will be back. Hey, what's up, ladies? This new ATL 2010. Um, I'm coming back at you. I am showing you the finished product of my 27 piece. Um, I did not do an invisible part this time because it takes longer and you can create the same look without having that part in it. And then on top of all of that, then you don't even have to worry about trying it, spreading and having to either retouch it up or just taking it out somewhere. So let me let you see. Oh, first let me tell you what I used. Um, if you didn't watch my earlier video. Um, I used um, Milky Way 27 piece and Ultra Micro Yaki um, number one in eight inch. So basically, what I did was um, I used the 27 pieces. First, I did like three medium pieces going from the nape of my neck to the sideburn. Three of those. And I got that as a tip from somebody, and I'll put their name at the bottom. Um, then I used the short pieces. Then I used the medium pieces again. And then I used, uh, started using the long pieces. But I went in a horseshoe shape. So I laid um, four tracks of um, the Ultra Micro Yaki just right across here. But I laid two of the, the long pieces first, then four of the ultra micro yaki pieces and that was it then i just made continue making my u shape with the long pieces um and, and made a closure you know the kind that you flat with the flat iron and then i cut it you know with the green shaping comb let me let you see it just in case you don't know what i'm talking about i use this you could just use this but i also use my husband's slippers because i wanted to like you see this let me try to look ahead. I wanted a more just tapered look. Hold on.
and uh, I made it like a little pixie look here and I'm trying to think like whose look is it really inspired by I guess it's kind of like Rihanna, Mary, I don't know they both have had short looks that you this sometimes so something like that and this is the look hold on let me see if I can turn around cause don't look at the hair back there on the thing. <laughs> um. Hopefully you saw that. Um, I got on some lashes too that I just put on. Um, but I think it looks cute. Oh, let me show you the lashes. The lashes are Kiss Juicy Volume 01, and it is um, Remy hair they said they use for the lashes. I don't know if that's true or not, but this is what they said. It was $2.99. So, let me let you see my lashes. Um, this is the first time I really did them in like a good few years, so hopefully they don't look too crazy. As you can see. I'm just trying to have a protective style so that I can, because I find that my hair, because it's natural, grows a lot better when I wear quick weaves for some reason. Not when I wear wigs, not when I get braids, but when I wear quick weaves, my hair grows like super fast. I don't know if it's because it's all moisturized underneath the cap, you know, because I put, you know, oil and stuff on it and then hook it up. I really don't know. But I had a profile for y'all for a minute, sorry. But um I ain't got on no outfit. But I am gonna do the outfit of the day too because I saw um the contest for Fabulacity is me, so I'm gonna try to do that too. Um and that's it. So I will see y'all later and hopefully you like it. Please rate, subscribe, and comment and let me know if you don't like it, what I did wrong. Help me out. Cause I'll be doing my hair myself for a while. So once again let me let you see. There. I might need to fade that up a little bit more. So let me let you see the closure. All right, ladies. Bye bye. Hey, what's up, uh, YouTubers? Um, it's UATL 2010. Um, I just woke up, so please excuse the tired look. But I just took the wrap off my hair, and I just wanted y'all to come see um, the version my hair after it's you know set over the night. So um, I curled it like going you know that way, and then I just put a few little flips and was like in the top. I need to get some pomade or something to, you know, separate that so they don't look like sprays, but I'm going to put the pomade on it in a minute.
Okay. Bye-bye.